Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to be solving on the question from first chapter of the Bjorn Johnson mechanics of materials and we have the question 20 where we have three wooden planks that are fastened together by a series of bolts to form a column. We know that the diameter of each bolt is 12 millimeter. So that's the diameter that we are talking about and the inner diameter of the washer which is what we have in here. And if you want to look at it, it will be something like this. So the inner diameter of each washer is 16 millimeters. So this will be 16 millimeter. And as we can see, it's a little bit, a little bit larger than the diameter of the holes uh, in the planks. And we need to determine the smallest allowable outer diameter of D. So we know the outer diameter, which is this one, is D. We can see it in here too. In a condition that the average normal stress in the bolts is 36 megapascal and the bearing stress between the wash and plank must not exceed 8.5. So we can start with the average normal stress in the bolts. So we're going to start with the bolts. And the average normal stress would be P over A or the force over area. And we know from the question this is equal to 3.6 megapascal or 3.6 times 10 to the 6 pascal. Meaning we have to have the other side of the equation based on Newton and meter. So the P is here is unknown but we can find the area of the bolt. I can show it with AB. And the area of the bolt is basically pi divided by four times diameter of bolt squared and we know that the pi the d is 12 squared times 10 to the minus 6 and all we need to do is just put this one in here in the denominator and our p would be simply 3.6 times 10 to the 6 times the area which was pi over 4 times 12 squared times 10 to the minus 6 and these two will be cancelled out and what we're going to get at the end will be 4069 newton which is the force that we have in the bolt and obviously we're going to have the same force in the washer too so if we want to write the average normal stress in the washer we have the same p to be equal to p over this time we have uh, the area of the washer which would be a bit different than what we have for bolt since there is a hole inside of the washer so so what we are looking in here is basically the diameter and if we want to find the cross section or the area of the washer we basically have pi divided by four times the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared and from the question we know that the inner diameter is 16 so this is what we showed in here we know the inner diameter is 16 so basically our a is pi divided by 4 times so the outer diameter is basically what the question is asking which we showed it with d so here we're just going to put d squared minus the inner diameter which was 16 squared for here since our 16 is in millimeter we need the 10 to the minus 6 to get it in meter squared and now that we have this we know uh, that our average normal stress is p over a or the area of the washer so the area of washer basically is equal to p over the average normal stress we found p in the previous step which was 4069 newton divided by and we know from the question that the stress between washer and planks uh, cannot exceed 8.5 so here we'll have 8.5 times 10 to the 6 pascal or 8.5 megapascal and the area that we have is what we found from the previous step so pi divided by 4 times d squared minus 16 squared times 10 to the minus 6 will be equal to uh, 4069 divided by 8.5 times 10 to the minus 6 we can cancel out the uh, 10 to the minus 6 from each side and if we find the so basically d squared we can multiply this by 
4 divided by pi and if we do that d squared minus 16 squared will be 1469 divided by 8.5 times 4 over pi and our d squared will be what we have in the previous step so we're going to add 16 squared on each side so 4069 divided by 8.5 times 4 over pi plus 16 squared and from here our d squared will be uh, 609.8 plus 256 meaning our d squared will be a 65.8 and we can find our d based on millimeter which will be 29.4 millimeter and that would be the final answer for this question so yeah that would be pretty much everything for this one please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment and let me know if you have any questions feel free to drop it in the comment i'd be happy to answer those and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one